Good morning. Let's start then. So welcome uh, to this week's webinar. We're focusing on the sell area of our Create Sell Print business. My name's Alistair Milchreest and I'll be taking you through today's webinar, which is setting up personalization pop-up shops. So today I want to look at uh, basically what is a pop-up shop and some case studies and then how do we implement them, especially with personalization. So what are pop-up shops? So pop-up shops have become uh, very popular recently for a couple of reasons. One, uh, retail landlords are looking to use their real estate and space. So in shopping malls and shopping centers, uh, we see these temporary uh, kiosks in the aisles, which uh, you tend to either walk into or walk around, but very visual attracting visitors. And on top of that, we have other innovations like uh, parking uh, lots and car parks where people are using space to set up pop-up shops. So here was one I saw just before Christmas, which made me smile. Adidas uh, literally um, recreated a giant uh, shoebox and it was a temporary store inside. And they've been taking these round uh, various events. Uh, so these stores are normally temporary, short term. Sometimes they can be uh, just for an event or sometimes they can be uh, in shopping malls. So a couple of others. Here's the Dove. So the Dove opened up a pop-up store opposite the Garden Hall before Christmas. It was only there for two months. And in store, they were personalizing soap, choosing the ingredients and actually mixing it. And also they were printing on UV printing on bottles in store. So once you had your personalized soap, you had your personalized ingredients and a message on there. And on the blog that will accompany this webinar, there's a video about how Dove personalized in store as well. Uh, then here's another innovation that Superdry did, literally an old shipping container that they can stick on a lorry and dump anywhere. And they've decked the shipping container out uh, inside to have a little temporary store of the Superdry clothing and brand. Uh, another innovative way to create a portable shop, which can literally be popped up wherever they dump the container and they open the doors and away you go. So then uh, in certain retail spaces, innovative companies started to create things that would interest consumers as well. So the other point of a pop-up shop, including personalization, it then can create some fun, interactive ways of designing. You can see here that this is uh, in a store in Oxford Street in London. So within the main store, they've set up a small area as a temporary concession, which I think actually has now become permanent. And in this little store, they've got kiosk technology where people can choose print on demand designs or design their own t-shirt. And you can see in the background, there's a DTG machine. And in the store, uh, the, pre, the print on demand design or the pre-design or the personalized design is being printed for consumers to uh, collect there and then and take it away. And one of the benefits of this, it creates a talking point. It's fun, it's interactive, and it's getting consumers to properly engage within the store and the brand, creating a nice environment. And Typically, when they're personalizing in store, the uh, retail price of a personalized T-shirt is significantly higher than the blank T-shirt or shirt that may be. Here's another fun one we did uh, last year uh, for one of our German customers. This is actually the bottom of a giant uh, ski slope for a ski competition. And uh, while the main store is a um, portable van, uh, they've actually got our kiosk on the store as well. So as well as sending, selling the um, uh, consumable items in the store, they're actually offering personalization for free, but they were actually doing drop shipping rather than printing them on site as well. Uh, but a nice innovative way of adding value to a retail purchase for those that wanted that special personalization. So how we do it then? Um, so also on the uh, blog I'll do the webinar I'll put the Creation Express video but um, this is just one example of an innovative company that created a solution for existing retailers to personalize in store so they've got a point of sale display with a large kiosk application uh, inside it and they actually have heat presses in store as well as uh, transfer printers and they're looking to uh, personalize uh, mugs and gifts in store as well as drop shipping other products as well in the store, they've got our um, order management system. The kiosk technology will print out a barcode and a receipt, 
and the user can go to our order manager and find the artwork, print off the transfer printer, make their heat press. And then that can be barcode scanned at the till for payment as well. So we can create uh, many ways, which I'll explore a bit later in the webinar, of providing an in-store option. And here's a screenshot. Oh, my page has jumped, sorry. And here's a screenshot of the kiosk app you can see in the background. And if I just jump to the actual application itself, uh, it's a nice application designed for a kiosk rather than uh, a web browser. And in-store, they can do a simple search for uh, what they're looking for. So I'm choosing uh, mum in this case. Then we can choose the design we like. Then we have a nice uh, rotational view of it as well. We can put our bespoke message on it. Then we can get a nice preview of the wrap and how it's actually going to look in store. Then when I place my order, it's actually going to uh, automatically connect to the receipt printer. Let me just get rid of the print page. And the receipt printer would print it out. And you can see there, we've got the order number and the barcode, which can be scanned at the till for payment and connected to our um, order management system for the artwork, which then can be produced. Another quick example of how we do a kiosk application. Here's a simple app with a product chooser inside it. I've just chosen the candle. These are dynamic designs as well. So whatever product I choose, it will give me the, the pre-design, in this case, the teddy bear and the flower. And this one's giving me uh, options for uh, three lines of text as well. Oh, happy text, thinking what I'm writing. And you get the idea. So we can then design the messages we want or uh, on two or three lines as well. And again, we can add to cart and pay at the till. Let's go back to the presentation now. So there's a number of options that we've now found retailers doing in store. Obviously, I've just shown you the middle one there, which is the mobile tablet kiosk, uh, which is uh, very popular. The one in the picture is actually a temporary stand, uh, so designed for pop-ups that can be moved around. But we also have customers with uh, full-blown um, uh, permanent kiosks that can be installed and connected to power as well. Uh, we also have customers who are using uh, existing PCs in store as well. And these can be the client facing or have the operator doing it for the customer. And then the other interesting one is the QR code. So QR code is typically for drop shipping rather than actually printing in store. But the QR code can be as simple as being on a poster. Uh, so very little space advertising the fact that products can be personalized or the QR code can be attached to um, the physical product. And by scanning the QR code with your uh, smartphone device, it can launch the application. You can personalize it on your smartphone and then you can check out and buy and it'll be drop shipped later. And it's a way of stores potentially adding value from their stock range to um, providing personalization choices for customers then to get something shipped to them afterwards. So we have some standard services that are related to our in-store. We can obviously print the receipt there and then with printers attached to kiosks or PCs. Uh, the email can be, uh, the receipt can automatically be emailed. We also have SMS capabilities in our order management system. So the SMS has a number of features, not, not only can it email the receipt, but if it's like say a concert and they're taking orders, the SMS can actually notify uh, the, um, uh, the buyer when their product's ready to collect. Uh, once it's been printed and is ready. So it's quite a neat feature. Um, we have a job release screen. So once the product's been paid for, they can then be sent to print, be it dropship or in-store. And obviously we can have PayPal and carts attached to our um, uh, kiosk applications as well for actual purchase on the application. Um, and you can see uh, below some of the other things that extra services as well in terms of installing on your own kiosk or PC, attaching the receipt printers, having your payment gateways inside. You can have marketing boards attached to kiosks and the QR smart links that I discussed. And then something else we added to our stable in November last year, we now have green screen technology. Now the green screen technology can be um, permanent in situ, or you can see the one here, again, designed for a pop-up store. So a portable green screen with um, a PC and screen attached, 
And then you can um, see in the picture on the right, uh, you can hold your shirt up, you can take the green screen picture. And then uh, in this case, it's a personalized newspaper. And you can see that I've just signed for Man United. I think it was about 120 million. Uh, oh no, 55 million in this one. Yeah, that's probably about right. I think 120, I would have been overpriced. But then the paper's bespoke and custom. Milk signs for Man United. Alistair Tips become a legend. And you can see the green screen technology has enabled me to be superimposed, holding the shirt up uh, with my name. Uh, looking very pleased with myself to be a Man United player. So again, the portable green screen technology can be used fabulously for pop-up stores, for concerts, events, sporting events, uh, indoor or outdoor, uh, weather dependent, obviously. Uh, but again, all connecting to uh, our technology to produce some great personalized experiences. Okay, so that was a brief overview of pop-up stores and how we can personalize in-store. You can find more details on our website at custom-gateway.com. You can follow us on Twitter at Custom Gateway. And then our blog is custom-gateway.com forward slash blog. And then the webinar will be recorded. It will be placed on our webinar page. And we'll email all attendees and all registered people a copy of the presentation. Thank you for your time today. And everyone have a good Friday and enjoy your weekend.